sometimes you just gotta let the verse rock, man. You gotta let it go, man, cause you done grinded so hard, put in so much work, found all these methods, use these methods to create your own method. And then, and only then, can you let out a real good gym stars? What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, AKA, Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video. And I done did it. Oh yeah, I, I, I done did it. <laughs> I done did it, ladies and gentlemen. I finally got the 99, and I really feel like this right here, I mean, this right here, my guy? This right here, my guy? I really feel like this is probably the best off-ball build in the game, man. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you, like, just look at the things that this guy can do, man. We're just gonna go through the stats. This is a 3 and D point. The way I made him is I took the strength and the, um, the strength tree. Pretty much is what I took. Strength and uh, speed. And instead of taking the speed and vertical, I took strength and speed. And, and this is what we ended up with, man. Uh, 99 stamina, 69 vertical. He said 69. Now, it can get high, and it'll be a 70 vertical when I get done. 88 strength, um, 86 acceleration, 92 speed. This is where I ended up. So if I had taken the other tree plus my plus fours, I probably would have like, like 99 speed or something like that. But that's cool. 92 is good enough for me because I wanted the strength. We gym stars around here, baby. We wanted that scrumph. Now, this is what I got. At 99, obviously I'll get another point when I get to 99.9. .9. If you want the easy 99.9 .9 method, the easiest one out there, hey, 300 likes on this video, man, and I got y'all. As soon as it hit 300 likes, I'm gonna give y'all the 99.9 .9 method like that. You can get it every single game. You don't have to play a certain way. All you gotta do is just play, play the game like you normally play and do a couple of things differently and you got it. But anyway, let's just get right into the bill, man. Look, three and D point, he's 6'5". I made him about 215 pounds because I wanted him to have uh, high strength. Look, close shot close, 84. Uh, driving layup, 74. Driving dunk, 80. Standing dunk, I didn't even care. Post hook, don't do it, don't even care. Mid range 84. Uh, what's this? Uh, three point shot 84. Free throw 92. I had to put that up because I wanted my shooting badges, and I'm gonna show you all that in a second. Post fade 74. Oh, I can do that. I can I can hit post fades. Yes. Uh, especially with a shooting boost, it, it's super easy. Pass accuracy 82. Ball handling, bro. I really wish that I had done it so that I could get 80 ball handling, but I can't do it, but it is what it is. I don't I don't even need it anyway. Post moves, don't care. Uh, that's 34. Interior defense, 51. Perimeter defense, 88, I'm almost at 90. Lateral quickness, 83, I'm cool with that. Steer, 87, I'm cool with that. Block, 84. Block, 84? Come on, bro. Offensive rebound, I'm cool with 50. And 86 defensive rebound. Man, this dude is a beast, man. And like I said, 6'5", if I had known then what I knew now that I was going to get four extra points, I would have made him, I might have made him 6'7", and I and, and, and I might have made him something else, but I might have made him 6'7". But it, it really doesn't matter because this is it's a small game this year, and this is how we rolling. Look, the skill boost. Look, I would be at 89 speed, but see, that, that those are all my stats with my plus with my plus threes and all that. I didn't get gym rat for some reason. I don't know why they didn't give me gym rat, but hey, it is what it is. Badges. This is how I got him badged out. Y'all already know my finisher is slithery. Slithery, my finisher. Now I'm not gonna lie. Now that I got the 80, uh, I got that 80 dunk. I might try contact finisher just to see if I can dunk on people. But I had it on slithery finisher before. I'm gonna try contact finish. I'll let y'all guys know how that goes. Because the thing is, somebody will be in the paint and I'll be about to go up and punch it, but if they get in front of me, then he'll change to a layup. Sometimes I don't want this. Sometimes I just wanna punch it. Just punch it right in his face. Uh, Playmaking badges, floor general. I wanna elevate. This is why I made him a point guard. I could have made him a shooting guard and got more, more points in more places. I made him a point guard because I wanted floor general. I want to elevate my teammates. Quick first step. If I, I can go by you and dunk the ball. Uh, dimer on goal. And that's as far as my dimer will go up. 
and that is as far as my floor general will go up. I can't I can't do those uh, anymore. And then quick first step is the same way. So I the only thing I can do is go go. So just wanted to show you guys that shooting badge. I mean defensive badges. This is where I got it, man. Bro, this seems like the best balance for me. And I know y'all might be like, bro, that's crazy. But look, off-ball pest. I showed y'all guys why you either don't want it on or you don't want it anything above bronze. If you go above bronze, you're probably going to get stuck on players that you don't want to get stuck on. Pick Dodger, I got it on goal. We don't run through picks that much. We don't play on an island that much. So... And if you play somebody that ISOs, you're really not gonna need it. Rim protector, I got it on bronze because I can't, I can't stop people inside. I don't have much interior defense, so rim protector definitely helps me do that. Tireless defender, I rarely run out of energy on defense, so I just got it there. Um, if I was in a serious game, I would probably do this, but we haven't been in one of those in quite some time. Pickpocket, I got a theory about pickpocket, and I got a theory about clamps and how they work against each other, but I gotta test it out, so I, I'll test it out and let you guys know. Pickpocket is on bronze, and I know y'all thinking, bronze pickpocket, bro. I swear to you, I had this on Hall of Fame before earlier today. I took it off Hall of Fame and put it on bronze. I've gotten more steals today than I've gotten the entirety of 2K, no cap. All right, and maybe I'm just trash, but I, I mean, I'm getting, I'm getting steals with that. Intimidator on purple you gotta have purple intimidator you don't want people hitting shots in your face if, if you can get there you can get some type of contest you want them to miss the shots so that's why i got that on there chase down artists on silver if you go by me you have to think about it before you can go up and that helps you get a lot of blocks inside too like i said interior deep my interior defense is really low so i have to do something to compensate for it that's why i did it clamps clamps on go clamps on hall of fame it really seems to work against you sometimes I'm leaving it on goal. If I'm playing a, a, a better opponent, I probably would do this. You know what I mean? But we do a lot of switching off. You got the center behind you anyway. And a lot of times, goal clamps is good enough because I like to... I don't like for the game to play for me. I like to play the game myself. So sometimes, if you go higher than goal clamps, you're going to be stuck on the guy and you can't get off. And I really got a theory that with, that with clamps that the reason that some people can steal the ball from us when they only have pickpocket... Because if you're riding somebody, pause. If you're if you got somebody leveling them off with clamps, and you, if you press uh, the steal button, he kind of just throws his shoulder out there and levels them off. So I feel like the people that don't have clamps, the reason that they're stealing the ball from us is because they're not getting the clamps animation. They're just getting the straight steal animation because they don't have clamps. That's what I feel like. Defensive leader is an invaluable badge, and I'm going to tell you why. Not only does it boost, look, listen to this. Lifts the defensive abilities of teammates when on, when on the court. Also, at a Hall of Fame level, can see potential shot percentages of opposing players. Bro, do you know how comforting it is when I run up on somebody and I'm like, T, that's 0% shot. He can't shoot that. Um, when you got you got all these glass locks out here and you really don't know what they are. If you got slashers, people with slash in their name, people that don't have slash, you don't know what they are. With, with defensive leader, you know what they are. You got the scouting report right there. It was a dude out there earlier today. His, his, his joint said slasher, a glass lock. He was a small forward. Berg was like, I don't know if I need to guard him or not. I was like, eh, you ain't got to guard him. Let me say 5%. Well, sometimes they catch the ball, the joint be like negative 1%. You, you get a good contest on somebody, it literally says 0%. Now, that's just the chance that they got. But, I mean, that don't mean that they can't make the shot. That just means they got 0% chance. And sometimes it's going to go in still, but, you know, it's just, to me, comforting to know, um, you know, what, what I'm playing against. If somebody else got defensive leader, they should be relaying that that, that information to you. But I got I got defensive leader, and I'll just relay that information to my team right off the bat. I'm just like, hey, he can't shoot. He, he got, it says negative 1%. He's not hitting that. Um, I mean, on shots inside, sometimes it's going to say 0%. They're going to hit shots, but that's just how it goes. Look. And last but not least, now that I'm 99, I can go get these dunks. Brutal seam on the sea, wicked and mean with a next dunk for y'all. Listen, man. Brute hate this dunk. Baseline reverse off one. Yes! I got it. Put it in the cart with the clutch reverses. Uh, yeah, I, I don't care about those. 
Um, I'm. This is what I'm gonna be putting on. Do I want to put on the baseline windmills? I'm gonna buy them. I might not put them on. Um, what else do I want? Cause right now, now I show you my dunks and stuff, and then I'm gonna let y'all get up out of here. But but right now, I got on all the. I got on all the dunks where I can dunk the ball fast and not have to worry about it. I'm going to get these straight arm tomahawks. Um, what's this? What are these? Yeah, I, I, I don't want that. I just want the straight arm tomahawks where he goes straight to the rim and then you don't have to uh, you don't have to worry about getting dunk, getting getting hit. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't want that. I just want the straight arm tomahawks off one so I can, you know, you can you can kind of get a little funky with it. Um Everything else I had to have 85 so I can't really get um, I'm gonna put on the Zach Levine uh, Package windmill reverse Woo! Mm, I'm, I'm about it. I'm about it cradle dunks. What's the cradle dunks now? Nah, I don't I don't want that leaning slams and nah, I don't want those I can't get no 360s out this mug can't do none of that. I can get Kobe out this mug Kobe's a good dunk package. I don't know if I'm gonna put that on, but uh, for the last three or four years, I have wanted this dunk package and I have not been able to get it, but now I can. And that's that Rack Levine. That Rack Levine dunk package, boy, that Rack Levine. Now that people can't block shots as much. Woo, look at that Russell Westbrook, boy. Hey, I might get that Russell Westbrook package. I'm, I'm going on a shopping spree, man. But look though, the thing is, now that I'm, um, now that I'm at 80, yeah, we're gonna spend eleven thousand on dunks. Now I'm at now that I'm at 80, I can get the uh dunks that I want. I still can't get any real layups because you got I think I gotta be at like 75 or 80 to get them. So I can't get those. But to answer your questions, yes. And I, I can't get no contact dunks at all. Gotta have 84 at least. But to answer your question, once you get your extra extra attributes, yes, you can buy them. I don't know if I go below 99, if they'll take them away from me or anything like that. I got no clue. I'm hoping that's not the case. But you do get the extra animations when you go above 99. And that's what I, that's all I've really been waiting for. I've really been waiting to just go get my animations and do my thing. Now, if you get to 99 and you can't do it, what you got to do, you got to close out the whole game and come back in. You have to load into the game as a 99. So um, if you load into the game as a 99, then then you'll be good to go if you don't load in if you don't load in as a 99 it it's probably not gonna um it, it ain't gonna really be it's not gonna work out for you so we're gonna put that on we're gonna put on zach levine uh where we at baseline reverse uh we want baseline reverse off one and then like i said man but yeah like if you get the 99 and you don't see it or if you get your attribute points and you don't see it uh that's what you got to do you're gonna have to um what you will have to do, you gotta come out of the game. You gotta come out of the game, close out all the way out of the game, and then you come back in, and then uh, then you'll be good to go. Those are really the only packages I want. Zach Levine, what do we got? Yeah, Zach Levine, Russell Westbrook, baseline reverse off one, and uh, reverse off one. Do I got the windmill? I want the windmill reverse. Uh, no, I don't want the baseline. I want windmill reverses. Yeah, boom. And then that's it, man. Like I said, that, that's really just a quick video to show y'all. Bro, I've been trying to get these baseline reverse. This is the first year I've been able to get baseline reverse off one since two since 2K17. Because that's when they really added to where you can't um you can't get you can't, you know, you have to have a they they put it up high. And so I had it in 2K18 at the end of 2K18. I couldn't get it at all in 2K19. And so here we go in 2K20. Uh, I can get it again. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. That's all I got for y'all. Y'all take y'all. Let me know if you think that it's a W or a L. Like I said, it's a good defensive build. It helps your teammates. And as y'all see, I, I, I just bust jump shots. Like I don't, I don't miss. Y'all saw the stream today. And if you didn't see the stream today, you need to check out the stream, man. But I'm out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We're gonna catch y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Hello, I'm about to go to my court and test out some dunks. And I'm out. Peace. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Check the drip. I got the weakest drip game in the world. Yeah.